Hi, my name is Akil and I am the founder of Quibrak, which is a club night and platform that is dedicated to bringing Africa Caribbean music to the queer nightlife scene. I've been asked to talk about a defining moment in my life as a queer person and I was thinking about talking about a coming out story and that's what got me thinking to the fact that which time? <laughs> Because I've come out many, many times. I came out, really the first time I came out was at the age of 12 to my sister. And at 14 I told my friends and at 16 I told my cousins. But the one I want to talk about is when I turned 18. And, that, um, and I told my mother on Christmas Eve, 2011, 18 years old. And uh, it was an incredible moment, but also an incredibly traumatic moment for me because um, and I think a lot of young queer kids will understand that there is one person that they need to be okay with it, that they need to reassure them that they're not a bad person or doing the wrong thing or doing something wrong. And for me, that was my mum because we're very, very close. And my mum is the most liberal, amazing person ever. But what was so important to me was that she accepted me for who I was because she's like, you know, she's my everything. She's my best friend. And um, and so coming out to her was incredibly difficult, incredibly hard, but, and I was in tears, floods of tears, but then it got to a point where I knew that I just had to do it, because I actually had told myself that I was never going to come out to her, because I didn't want to face what the 0.1% could be that she may not accept me for who I am. And the amazing thing was, is that she did. She was like, I don't care. This is, you know, you're my son. It doesn't even matter. In fact, it's literally not even an interesting piece of information. You're who you are. And, and that's why I say to anyone who is queer and questioning or uh, is uncomfortable with opening up to other people is to just think about the fact that you need to dive headfirst into it sometimes, no matter what the fear makes you think. And also to just know that it does get better and that there is a family out there for you if it's not your biological family and that there are people that you can meet in order to make you feel like you're part of a community and part of a family. And, um, and yeah, love you, mama. <laughs>